Hello friends and welcome back. So uh, today we are going to see a derivation of shape function in Cartesian coordinate system. Okay, so uh, let's get started. Now uh, consider a uh, one dimensional element. This is a one dimensional element. Now this element is not uh, only from uh, i to j. So there is a system of the elements and we have considered any one element from that system uh, which is having node i and node j. So for node i the deformation is ui and for j deformation is uj. So these are the two deformation for each node and the length between two nodes is called as the element length that is denoted by small l. Let's consider one point P in between this node I and J. So this is the point P. Now this is whole system is in Cartesian coordinate system. That means it has X, Y and Z. But as it is a one dimensional element, it has only X direction. So this coordinate will be given by X, I, X, J and the selected point will be x so the coordinate of point p will be the x now how to get the deformation at this point p so we will get a deformation from the interpolation formula that is u is equal to a0 plus a1x so x is nothing but coordinate of this point p so if point p is somewhere here the coordinate of this will be denoted over here now we can write this in in the matrix form that is u is equal to 1 x and in vertical column matrix a0 a1 so if we multiply these two matrices we will get this equation that is 1 into a0 that is a0 and x into a1 that is a1 x1 so this is the equation of deformation of point p now we are going to find simplify this equation at each node so let's consider node i so at node i deformation is given by ui is equal to a0 plus a1 xi so we have put the values for the node i in this equation so a0 and a1 are the constants so x is the coordinate so at i this is the coordinate is xi Similarly, for node j, uj is equal to a0 plus a1 xj. So, you will get the same equation as this, only the coordinate value will change. Now, total deformation or displacement vector for this element is given as capital U is equal to in the vertical column matrix ui plus uj. So, this is written in the matrix form. So these two equations are written in this matrix form. So if you multiply 1 into a0, a0 you will get plus xi into a1 that is a1 x1. So this equation will be getting from first line and from second line you will get 1 into a0 plus a1 xj. So that is the second equation. Now we are going to simplify for this a0 and a1 matrix. And we will put this value in the matrix of this. So, now from this equation, we will take this matrix of uh, 1 xi xj on other side. So, it will become a inverse of this matrix and into ui plus uj. Now, we have to simplify this inverse of this matrix. So, so inverse how we will calculate we will take the determinant of this value 1 upon determinant of that matrix into cofactor matrix transpose so here determinant will be 1 into xj so we will take a cross multiplication minus this so 1 into xj that is xj minus xi so you will get a determinant now for this cofactor matrix so this first value cofactor will be like this consider for this one eliminate row one and row column 
and take this value as a cofactor of this first. So that is a xj. Now for second, eliminate row 1, column 2 and this value will be the cofactor. But here summation of the number of row and column is odd so that there will be minus. Means there is a row 1 and column 2. So 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. So there is a minus. For this cofactor value, eliminate second row, first column, you will get xi. And row is 2, column is 1, so summation is 3, so minus xi. And similarly 1, for eliminating this row, you will get a 1. So transpose will remain as it is into ui plus uj matrix. So dis distance between two nodes, xj minus xi, these are the two coordinates. So distance between difference between these two will be the length of the element and transpose we have to convert this row into column row into column. So transpose will over ui plus uj. So this total value is for matrix of a0 and a1. Now we will put this value of this matrix in the equation of u that is small deformation that we have seen initially for point p. So point P you will get 1 plus 1 and x. So that is initial matrix and this is the matrix for A0 and A1. So we will put this A0 and A1 here. Now we will simplify it further. Then we will multiply. We will take this 1 upon L outside. We will multiply this equation with this matrix. So you will get 1 into xj minus x. So 1 into xj, xj minus x. And for second, 1 into minus xi minus xi. And x into 1, x. So this is the matrix and into ui. Now we will just simplify this matrix for u. So we will get multiplying this matrix into inside and multiplying l into inside. So xj minus x divided by l into ui so this is the first value and second value will be x minus xi divided by l into uj now we will get this equation that is deformation of point p in the system now this bracket term is known as a n1 and this bracket term is known as a n2 where n1 and n2 are known as a shape function and N1 stands for first node and 2 stands for second node. Here we can use Ni or Nj for node i, node j. So these are the two shape function and Ui and Uj are the, these two are the deformation of node i and node j. Now we will just uh, simplify that N1 is equal to this matrix, uh, this bracket n2 is equal to this bracket. Now we will see the variation of these shape functions. Variation of this shape function. Now this is the our element i, j. These are the two nodes and this is the element. Now if we put the values of x into the equation of shape function that is xj minus x divided by l. So we will get the value at x, x is equal to xi. So, xj minus xi that is equal to l, l divided by l that is 1. So, maximum value of the shape function is 1. For j, we will put the, uh, for shape function 2, j, x is equal to xj. So, here xj minus xi that is divided by l. So, that is equal to this is the lane, this is also lane, so 1. So maximum value of node 2 will be 1 and at this position. So at node i, it is equal to xi. So x is equal to xi, xi minus xi that is 0. So this value is 0. So we will be joining this line from 0 to 1. So this is the variation of shape function. That means if we take a middle value. So if you take a middle value, so at point 0.5, this shape function will be 0.5, this shape function will be 0.5. This is the linear variation because this is a linear shape function. 
Now what is the properties of this shape function? Shape function properties are n1 plus n2 means summation of all shape function is equal to 1. So hence we can put n1 is equal to xj minus x, n2 is equal to x minus xi here divided by L. So if we multiply, uh, add, a, add and um, subtract, you will get L divided by L that is equal to 1. So this is the property of the shape function that is n1 plus n2 is equal to 1. Also, if you take a derivative of this shape function and add, you will get the value as a 0. See how d by dx of this bracket that is n1 that is equal to minus 1 and d by dx of n2 that is equal to 1. So if you add these two values, you will get the 0. So these are the properties of shape function. And we use this shape function to find out deformation at any values in the element. So when we solve this problem, we will only get deformation at u, i and deformation at node j. So intermediate values of deformation can be calculated by using shape functions if we know the coordinate of that point. So this is about shape function in the Cartesian coordinates. So thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you.